And finally, to our special segment, Resurgent Africa. Amid the coups and the crises, there are many positive stories from Africa that often get overlooked, but not on this show. Our next story is from Egypt, where an optical designer named Mokhtar Mohamed Abdel Fattah's passion for astronomy and telescopes has led him into opening a factory producing astronomical telescopes, making it a one-of-its-kind project in Egypt and Saharan Africa. Going beyond his passion, he runs educational institutions for astronomy enthusiasts and has opened a gallery to illustrate the history and evolution of optical technology. Our next report gets you more on these made-in-Egypt telescopes. Humankind has always been curious about the mysteries of the universe. That curiosity has driven us to explore the world and beyond, driven by technological advancements, leading to the discovery of things ranging from fire to artificial intelligence. One such person is Mokhtar Mohammed Abd El Fattah. He lives in the Nile Delta city of Tanta, which is located in the northeast region of Egypt. By profession, Abd El Fattah is an optical designer, and his passion for astronomy, coupled with the lack of industries to build telescopes, led him to start his one of a kind business in Egypt. After spending decades abroad, gaining training and expertise in Germany, Italy and Sweden, he established a factory upon returning to Egypt. Abd El Fattah spends most of his days among telescopes and lenses at his factory where he produces these astronomical telescopes proudly labelled Made in Egypt. I was in Western Germany in the 80s, and during my education there, I learned about different types of telescopes and microscopes, both theoretical and industrial devices. When I returned to Egypt, I found that this industry didn't exist here at all. So, I started to establish a factory to manufacture telescope bodies. Over time, we developed ourselves and started producing complete telescope devices from A to Z. It's not just telescopes that El Fata manufactures. His factory also produces local lenses for telescopes to avoid importing them from outside Egypt. We began to significantly develop a factory by manufacturing machines for lens production, specializing in these products. Instead of importing lenses at a cost of nearly $100 to $200, we began producing them completely locally. With demand increasing, Abd El Fattah's team, some of whom had no prior background in optics, became skilled technicians capable of building telescopes locally. I initially had no background in optics. However, I have always loved the field of astronomical devices, and when I learned about a factory specializing in the manufacturing of astronomical devices and telescopes, I enrolled and received training there. Thank God, I am now able to produce a complete telescope product, including the telescope axis, mount, and tube. However, beyond manufacturing telescopes and lenses, Abd El Fattah looks to give back to the society and share his knowledge with the younger generation. He does this by running certified educational centers for astronomy enthusiasts. Students at these centers gain a hands-on experience, learning how to craft high-quality lenses and components for telescopes and microscopes. They also learn about how to use the telescopes to study the universe. But Abd El Fattah has gone beyond his passion of telescopes and lenses to open a gallery. The gallery showcases hundreds of vintage cameras, microscopes and telescopes that he has collected over the years. Through the gallery, he wishes to illustrate the history and evolution of optical technology to the future generations of Egypt. He feels that by observing the equipment, both old devices alongside modern ones, students can understand what has been learned abroad, particularly the development of modern technology.